welcome to the first video from uh, 2D Fiends, and I'm your host, Mad Gamer. Today we're going to play some uh, Flying Dragon, the Secret Scroll. See, I haven't played this game in a while. I remember playing this uh, when I was a kid and coming home from school, and my dad would hog the Nintendo. He would play this stupid baseball game. I forgot what name it was, but man, I hated it. But I always wanted to play this game. Um, Guerrilla Warfare, yeah, Guerrilla War, sorry, Guerrilla War, and uh, Double Dragon 2 with my brother. I never got a chance to beat those, and this particular game I really, really drew me to it. So, I want to, this would be great to do a first gameplay with this game. At least try to get, you know, reminisce a little bit too. Okay, we're going to do a beginner, because I don't remember how to play this game. Mario Star type thing. Alright. This has a bag of points. <laughs> Alright. Medicine. Okay. I think. Oh, okay. What does that do? stage. <laughs> okay. That's good. I could always get it again. Okay. 
kind of remind me of those Medusa heads from Castlevania. Grandpa. Best part of the game. Simple enough. I love the master and student thing they got going. It's always good. Kind of reminds me of those action movies that they showed uh, back on HBO in uh, Showtime. I love those. The Van Dams and stuff. And I remember one movie, um, Van Damme was a villain. I forgot what that movie was. I thought that was cool, too. Wind 
Jackie Chan was young. Those movies were good too. Jet Li. Guess that's why I like this. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the old kung fu movies. And I just sit back and watch with my my cousin. Like the I think it's called the Seven Deadly Venoms. guy was my favorite, like he was indestructible, he was punching metal, and like, uh, it was a good movie, I, can't, I just remember this in pieces of it, I remember liking that guy, because everybody was trying to find his weak spot, but he was just indestructible, I, mean, I think they put him in the Iron Maiden, and then the spikes hit his uh, weak spot, and he, he, he was normal. He was bending swords, punching armor. It, it, they couldn't stop him. I think each mask represented an animal. I think it was a, a snake, a scorpion, a toad. I don't remember the rest. But I remember that they all wore different masks. And they, don't, they never show their true identity. Remember that being pretty good. signature move and he had to learn that move so he can defend against it and that character that was in that movie that Billy Blinks played uh, they uh, modeled DJ from Street Fighter from him because if you look at that movie he looks like DJ from Street Fighter he does Serious, I ain't say nothing in a minute. <laughs>
like lying those crackhead cousins. You don't scare me. Now she looks like she might be a problem. She looks like um, Chung Lee. Yep, Kung Fu. Unmatched. You don't look scary either. You look like a old woman with double D's. Okay, we're back to the, this portion. Okay, um, I'm gonna end the gameplay here. Um, just uh, it, this game really brought back a lot of memories. I remember playing this, and uh, and I did like the parts where you fought, you know, with with the button commands versus the platforming, which I don't really care for now. It seems pointless. The game should be just the fighting, not the platforming. The plat the. Uh, the See, now I can't talk. The platforming seems monkey wrenched in. But um, if y'all enjoyed the gameplay, give a thumbs up. If you don't, you know, please comment why, or you know, feel free to share what you think. Um, if you know any games you would like me to play, or you know, would like me to review, that's uh, you know, I would say classic, not retro. But you know, classic games. I'll you know try to see if I can get a hand, a hold of them and stuff, and and play them for you. But uh, I'll leave my uh my Twitter so y'all can comment, ask questions, and um, until then, see you next time on the next gameplay. Peace.